Hello YouTube, I've been looking forward to showing you the, this app in a while uh, but I've had to just get my head around it all basically it's an automation software as it says in this little description here it says automate your devices easily well maybe not so easily but I will show you and it's called eRobot and let's get started on eRobot right first of all you're going to be displayed with this page um, shows you all the commands so you might start with no commands well that's fine um, so you start off a command you can even get, I think there's examples as well, there is examples at the bottom so you just choose them and then you can choose some of these there's not so many, there's oh actually there's more than I thought but still not so many still I find this app is better than the rest that I've tried whose names I'm not going to give but yeah, these are easy, you can just download example and then that's it. Or go back to mine. So, this is a clipboard reader. But I'm going to start a fresh one just so that I can show you how to do it. So there's a little plus button in the bottom here. Then press new command. Then give it a name. Power. Connected. Oh, that's frustrating. It's not a capital. I like to have capitals. Right, now, there's three things here. There's events, actions, and settings. Generally, I untick notifications, but that's completely up to you. Um, you need to set an event, so we'll go events. Then... All these along the top are categories, so these are triggers. So what needs to happen before anything is done? You've got to think of this logically. Um, this is called event, but is the same as a trigger. So what does what needs to change before an action is taken? So in this case, it's battery. So we look for battery, which, oh, well, I had it a second ago. I'm sure I did. A, B, C, there it is, battery. Um, if you don't like sliding it, if you press and hold the current tab, oh no, just single press it actually, I apologise, then it shows you all these as a list. Um, so then you, yeah, so I'm on battery, fair enough. Then you would say, um, what's this one going to be, what was this one called? Power connected, wasn't it? So if we go, oh, is it, is it, is it in battery? Yes, it is external power is connected. So tap that and then you can say e so you can say none by unticking all of these um and then choosing wireless or so you can have I can't describe it, you can have one ticked so wireless, so it only triggers on wireless and nothing else. Or always and then tick Make sure they're all ticked if you want all of them. So wireless just, is just the example. So you can do that. You can have just one ticked. It doesn't matter which. So like that, for example. But I'm going to do it for all. Because I haven't got wireless charging. I want it just to trigger all the time. So press OK. And that's done. So now, any time you plug the device in, it will trigger. But at this moment in time, there is nothing to trigger. So then you press actions. Um, then you can go to, well, it doesn't matter what you tr make it trigger, you can do all sorts of different things. Controlling, I wouldn't do these commands just yet because it depends on the type of trigger. So you can have it do nothing if you really wanted to at the bottom. It says this action does nothing. Uh, how you can class nothing as an action. I'm not so sure. But anyway, well, it would still charge if it was plugged in. So therefore, it's not doing nothing, is it? Anyway, that's just me being pedantic. So you can make it stop synchronising by saying toggle. See, if it's off and you leave it as toggle, you can, it can turn it on or whatever. Then you can press, so you can, so you can have toggle on. I'm not going to actually even cars. I'm going to... Um, what do I want? I want media volume. So I'm going to press the tab. 
and I'm going to go audio I'm going to go change volume to 100 is very loud um, we'll do this percentage in a second tick the type of uh, volume you want to change so you've got either alarm, media, notification, ring or system or video call, voice call even um, media I'm going to say at what did I used to do? 60% 60 60% because it's still very loud then I'm going to say so it's going to change so when it's plugged in it's going to say media volume changes to 60 regardless of what other percentage it was before it was plugged in then I'm going to say audio text to speech so here then you can put um, plugged in at plug in what did I say just leave it as that actually plugged in doesn't matter what percentage plugged in so now it will say plugged in and that is it there is an option amongst that actually if you need to change anything in a in a trigger or an event you just tap the event or trigger then say change parameters so if I wanted to change that text you can do it there I'm going to tick the box say wait for finish so now it won't move on until it's finished saying plugged in which doesn't take that long but you know I'm going to add another action to say I want the Wi-Fi on so you go list and then Wi-Fi toggle Wi-Fi toggle to on and press OK it's going to turn the Wi-Fi on then I'm going to go action you can do things with the display as well display um, display, display. So you can say change brightness. Mm, actually, I'll change that in a second. Screen timeout to 30. You can say 15 or 30. I think, yep, yeah, that's it. So that is screen inactivity. So if you leave your screen for 30 seconds it will turn off once it's been plugged in. Um, the lower your screen timeout is, the better your, your battery will life. Lo uh, battery, w the longer your battery will last. Sorry. Uh, yeah. Change brightness. I'm going to say 20%. No, I'm not. I'm going to say 15%. I don't. I don't know what brightness it is at the moment because there's no percentage on my scroll bar here so and I don't want it to hurt my eyes um, and I'll show you that in a minute so yep there are loads of actions you can add so you can do all sorts of different things so then you can go you can go application so if you've got um, what can I say for this one Choose your applications. So, for instance, if you had a battery saver, or yeah, if you so if you have had a battery saver and you've plugged your phone in and you want to have the app to launch automatically, you can do that. So, I'm going to just I don't know what to choose because I don't need to interfere with the screen recording. Um, I could do that. Oops, don't want to do that. Do the music player because I don't actually have to play the music, and just leave that data URL blank. I haven't quite worked that one out yet. I think that's yeah. So it just just do that. Press OK. Then the last setting actually is the confirmation. So if you don't want it to if you know that 
when you plug it in you don't want it to happen instantly you can say execute after five seconds all the way up to five hours oh no five minutes 300 seconds is five minutes not five hours I apologize um, or you can say cancel after so if you don't then press run um, it will cancel it automatically so you can have it run automatically or cancel automatically or no confirmation oh dear I've just changed position and some of my money's falling out of my pocket I will just sort that that's it I sort that after there's only 20 pence or something oh, I've done it ace sorry um yeah so I will show you it without the confirmation so to test it oh you should save it actually press the save button which is the the floppy disk icon there then the play button in the right corner once I press this play button I won't be able to talk for a couple of seconds because the uh, text to speech will take over me so once you press the play it will show you the loading which means that it's, it's checking everything's right and then it will dim the brightness for me you won't, might not see the brightness change some recorders do and some don't but I'm going to do it, I'm going to press play plugged in Okay, there you go. So you've got so that's the clean music player that I told it to open. And it's got brighter, which I didn't really want it to do, but that's my fault. So if then you realise it's too bright, you can change the brightness by going to Oh, where is it? Screen brightness percentage set uh, change parameters. And you might set it for ten percent. And then press play again. Plugged in. Yep. If you find you don't want the music player to open or the chosen application or there's a stage you don't want to happen, select the stage and press either delete action at the bottom of this little list or disable. So you delete action, it's gone. So now you can have, so I might change the brightness. I'll do that after I've finished the video. I'll tamper with the brightness because I'm not sure what brightness I want it yet. But yeah, you can see on the slider actually that the brightness has changed. So yeah. Then, if you were going to do this a, a similar macro for disconnection of power, you would go plus button, copy concurrent command, then power... Disconnected, discon, disconnected. Yep. Now remember, at the moment, that is apart from the name, is an exact copy of the the macro from the previous one. So then you might change something like, where is it? Text to speech change parameters to unplugged would you say or power disconnected I've just put unplugged because it's faster because you need it to say something that's fairly fast so that it's not using the battery then Wi-Fi uh, I might leave the Wi-Fi I might just delete that action um, Delete the screen timeout. You don't have to do this. You can choose your own actions. I'm, and of course, but I am just doing this. So now it says, if the phone is... Oh, you see, you've got to change that as well. I forgot. Change power. Change... Uh, oh, you can't do that. You'll have to delete that one. And try again. Delete. And then events. And then battery on the tabs at the top if you remember then external power is disconnected it doesn't give you the option with the 
Uh, yeah, obviously all of them. Right, there you go. So then when power's disconnected, it changes the media volume to 60 and then says unplugged. So I'm going to show you. Unplugged. Then I said to you I was going to show you about the um, confirmation. So I will do that. So execute after 5 seconds. And I'm going to press the play button. Then you get a message says, do you want to execute? So it'll execute now. Unplugged. Only if you don't cancel it, you can choose to cancel it or you can postpone it. So I'm going to postpone it for a minute for now. Or you can say cancel. These are going to be automatic triggers. This is just the test player button. So when I plug, if I plug it in without pressing that play button, it will do it. I've got the cord here, so I might as well just do it. That's why I moved and then dropped my money. Plugged in. Oh, you. You know why it did the music player and uh, changed the brightness to be too bright? I didn't save it. I didn't save the macro. Change that to 8 and delete that bit. Oh, sugar, silly mate. Delete action. Always save it. That was proven by me doing that. Silly me. Battery disconnected. Save because it didn't do it when I unplugged it. So I'll just do this. Unplugged. Unplugged. Yep, yeah, there we go. All right, done it. Yeah, so that's how that works. Um, it's a very good app. There's loads and loads of triggers. It would take me all night to show you all the combinations. Well, I don't even think it's possible to show you all the combinations. But seriously, like, if you want me to try and explain further in the in the comments if you've got a specific problem then please tell me um, I have written to the developer because at this moment in time it is not possible to um, import macros so or commands as these are called commands aren't they Some, sometimes you call them macros it's the same thing um, yeah so because otherwise I would just make them and send them to you. But at the moment, I can't do that. So when that's available, I'll tell you in the comments or on the page or whatever. However. Um, but yeah, so that's how that works. Uh, yeah, so thanks very much for watching. I know it's been a long video. And I apologise, but I wanted to show you this because it, it's a good app. I think it's well worth being displayed. So thanks very much for watching. Goodbye. Take care. hope this was of use. Goodbye.